All right. You say thanks and then I'll. All right. We'll, we'll say, we'll we'll say, say things. things. Oh, God, we're nerds. <laughs> Hey all you Firebase developers, welcome to another episode of Ask Firebase, the show where we answer your burning Firebase questions. I'm your host, Jen Person, and today I'm joined by my co-host, Todd Kerbelman. Welcome. Hi everybody. This is a very special Cloud Firestore version of Ask Firebase. I think all of our questions today are about Cloud Firestore, so hopefully we have some answers for you. It's actually out. We can talk we can about talk it. We can talk about it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Jang Son Jun on YouTube wants to know, how can I query data from Firebase using a page number without any last item data? Is it possible to do that? I think what you're asking for is basically like an offset query where you're like, hey, let's like, you know, query this set of documents from a collection, but you know, start at number 50. This is something you can do on the server libraries. You would just add a like dot offset modifier to your query, but you can't do this on the client libraries. Um, turns out I think Part of the reason is this has a lot of issues with like offline support mm -hmm. and that sort of thing. But depending on your use case, you can still kind of jump ahead based on whatever data you're sorting by when you're running your query. So like if you've got like a query or a collection of employees and you're like, hey, give me all employees sorted by last name, you can absolutely say, you know, like give me our employees sorted by last name starting with F, right? And then you can jump just to that part of your collection. But you can't say, hey, give me all my employees starting at like employee number 50, which I don't know, I kind of feel like maybe the the starting with F or starting with G thing is probably better because, you know, you actually know what that means. Right. So probably for most use cases, there is a possibility to do that. And then maybe if not, there are some server options as well. Yep. All right. Javier Ruiz on Twitter asks, is there any way to retrieve sub collections on Firestore? I want to filter only organizations where the user is a member. Kind of not really, but maybe. Um, <laughs> is that good enough for an answer? Oh, do that's we, perfect. Do we need more Moving detail? Moving on. Next question. Oh, all right. I, I'm being told we need more detail. Yeah. So um, basically, I think what he's asking is like, could you query a, a document based on items that exist in that document subcollection, right. um, which is called a collection group query. Right now, there's no way we can do this. It's something the team is looking into. They'd really like to support it. But right now, any query in Firestore is just searching for a document within a collection based on that document's attributes. Now, you can kind of cheat a little to get sort of what you're asking for. For instance, like let's say you've got a document or a collection full of like, you know, soccer teams. Each document is one soccer team. Then it's got a sub collection of like team members. Mm. So if you want to look for like, say, all like all soccer teams that have a player named Jennifer, um, what you could do is like you couldn't do that by sort of, you know, searching among all the sub collections or you can only do that for one individual team. Right. But what you can do is within your original soccer team document, you could add a players field, which would be a map. That's a thing that kind of looks like a dictionary. And the keys here would be equal to the player name. And then the values might be, for instance, an array of the actual document IDs in the sub collection. And then basically Cloud Firestore does let you query for documents based on sort of those values of those keys, even if they're nested inside of a map field. Two caveats here. One, um, this is going to require work on your part to keep this list in sync with what's in your sub collections. And then also, did you know you're limited to 20,000 fields in a single document in Cloud Firestore? I did not know that. None of us really ever run into it very often, but if you're going to start doing weird auto-generated stuff like this, yeah, maybe you got to watch out for that. But I think in our example, I don't know of a soccer team that has 20,000 members in it, so I think you'll be okay. Sounds good. In conclusion, yeah, sort of maybe. Yeah, right. sort of maybe. <laughs> Thanks so much for coming on and answering some Cloud Firestore questions, and I'm sure that there are going to be a lot more questions going forward. Well, hopefully I'll have some answers, and if not, I'll fake it. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you on a future episode of Ask Firebase. Nice. Wow, that was magic. That was magic. Do you have a hitchhiker's thumb or just a... I do, look at that. A little bit, a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Pretty substantial. Mm -hmm.